I want final comments from Vali Prapati and, and I want yes. final comments from Sanjay Jha. Sanjay Jha, how is it? How is it to be referred to as lesser evil, lesser corrupt versus more corrupt? And the more corrupt party, as Mr. As Mr. Balakrishnan is also saying, is, is is the Congress. How would you respond to people and prominent and, and and of course veteran journalists also referring to national parties as? And let's be honest, that's how the nation also is thinking. You know, I think Akash is very important for me to make a you know pertinent point here on your channel today. Is you know when when the when the UPA government introduced the RTI, it was fully aware of the fact that there will be many skeletons in different cupboards of different political parties that will roll out. This is a process. Of what this country is witnessing is a process of cleansing or purge or purification. Sanjay, are you saying, are you saying the Congress, the Congress, the Congress yeah, is and, responsible and, for the Congress being tainted as a corrupt party? It's Congress's responsibility. No, Congress should take credit. I'm saying that. One, one minute, Akash, the Congress needs to be congratulated for actually introducing transparency with the RTI, which is perhaps the biggest landmark legislation in post independent okay. India. And as you can see right now, even if the Lokpal bill at some point gets passed in the Rat Sabha, okay. I think that will be not just for India, for any democracy in the world. Okay. This is Congress's initiative. Now, to blame the Congress for a couple of odd, odd, you know, unfortunate uh, bad apples mm. is, is, and making a sweeping generalization on that is extremely unfair. And look at BJP for that matter. You know, the BJP tries to I make a song and dance about RPI everything, but look, it has got its own house, it's, not, it's, house, in, in, it's in, in complete Maharashtra. disorder. And when okay. you look at Narendra Modi, whom they tom tom about as a development model character, yes. having so many thousands of crores in cash actually being an issue, yes. then what exactly does the BJP have the alternative to offer? Vani Tripathi, respond. One little, uh, very, very uh, small uh, piece of advice for the Congress. Put your house in order first. Put your uh, house in order also as far as the government and the Prime Minister and the Cabinet Ministers. Please do not advise other parties as to what we should be doing. We are a cadre based party, we are not a private limited company, we know how to handle our cadres very well. Number two, the mood of the nation is anti-Congress, it's pro-development, it's pro-good governance. Hmm. And whether it's this election, whether it's the election next which uh, faces Delhi or the election after that, the mood of the people is very clear with this mandate. It may look like a small election. It's a referendum to what's okay. going to happen in the in in, uh, in 2013 and okay. also in 2014. Shopan, final word. What is Congress's core vote bank now? Urban centers lost, rural. We saw what happened in UP. Who can the Congress depend on? Now the Congress undoubtedly has had two major upsets. They've lost out in Uttar Pradesh. The situation in Andhra Pradesh is very parlous. Yes. So the Tamil Nadu, the bank, the, the fact that they could bank on their allies, which they can't do now. So in a sense, the Congress really has to worry about where geographically it is going to get its seats from. Mm. It also has to worry in terms if the middle classes and the urban sections of the population are alienated. Yes. Whether they have any strategy to, to get them back. In other words, the Congress, we are seeing a certain degree of shrinkage. Mm. And I think this shrinkage is reflected in also the fact that okay. the states today okay. are becoming far more assertive. And today we are not merely seeing a bipolar election between Congress and BJP. Okay. But there is a very, very real possibility of a very important federal front. Okay. Which not yet constituted as a front, which can also come in. Okay. So these elections are straws in the wind. They are important. But at best, they can be a footnote to the larger election in 2000. Let's hope the Congress doesn't uh, remain and get, become a footnote itself because if it doesn't take lessons uh, from what is happening, right now, straws in the wind, tomorrow it might be the wind that blows it away. Shop and many thanks for joining us and giving us your insights into what has happened today. Clearly, what we know from this, at least uh, the reactions from the experts, the panelists that is coming in, is that worse days ahead for the Congress to come in. If it doesn't take lessons if it doesn't take heed and doesn't shed some of that arrogance. Chopper, many thanks for joining us. Vani, many thanks for giving us your perspective from the BJP. Uh, Sanjay, what can I say? A difficult day, of course, for you. Many thanks for joining us here on Headlines today. And uh, uh, and, and Mr. Balakrishnan, appreciate you joining us and saying that this is not really from Delhi. This is a national perspective that is coming in, a mood that is coming in.